Welcome back to Press Pause. Let's get right into it. The rumored Red Dead Redemption remake remaster has been officially announced, and it is neither of those things. It's a port for Nintendo Switch and PS4. And I didn't mean to say PS5 either. It's for the PS4. Xbox isn't even getting uh, a version because thanks to backwards compatibility, it already has all the features. This is just a basic ass port, folks. Still, it might be cool on my Nintendo Switch, play as John Marston on the go. It's gotta be pretty cheap. I mean, it's a 13 year old game. What are we talking, 20 bones, 24.99? And it's $50. Big boys don't cry, big boys don't cry. How does Rockstar keep getting away with this? How about 60 FPS? How about HDR audio enhancements? How about a release for PC? They still don't have this on Steam. <laughs> I mean, how about just the original multiplayer? Because guess what? That's not included. Starfield's preload size and date has been revealed by notorious online leaker, Amazon.com. The game is apparently gonna be 125 gigabytes on both PC and Xbox. It releases September 6th or September 1st if you upgraded to uh, the premium edition. Uh, but you can start that download apparently on August 9th. So. Uh, not to be too specific here, but if you regularly play Xbox Live with me, uh, you live in an area with bad internet, you recently played billiards, ate pizza, got a pizza grease stain on your shirt. Hey bud, start the download August 9th. I mean, but hey, like I said, not to be too specific, that could be anybody. If that is you, or if that isn't you, consider liking this video, subscribing, so you don't miss out on any of the best gaming news content you ever done had. Killer Instinct is back in the news, baby. Iron Galaxy Studios returned to the franchise in time for the 10th anniversary to offer us a brand new update. Coming here in 2023, uh, it'll feature matchmaking improvements, various updates, and 4K on Xbox Series SX. Though I thought Back and Pat already took care of 4K. We'll see what they're talking about. But look, I'm excited to check this out and more excited for the fact that this likely means there may be a brand new KI on the nearish horizon. Uh, in either case, I had this game downloaded on PC. I'm gonna download it on my Xbox. If Starfield's fat ass will allow it. Tears of the Kingdom has become the ninth best-selling Switch game at 18.5 million units sold, and we're less than three months since launch. Nintendo Switch is riding high off of that. Uh, the system is now at 129.5 million units sold, according to the most recent earnings report. This is further proof that the Switch is very likely to dethrone the PS2 as the best-selling console of all time. And that's without DVDs. Speaking of big numbers, my old Johnson. Speaking of big numbers, Baldur's Gate 3 is shot to the top of the stack on PlayStation. Uh, becoming the number one pre-order on the US PS in-store, the Larian Studios title is riding high off the back of a monster PC launch. It's sitting at uh, ninth highest concurrent player count peak ever of all time at over 814,000 concurrent players. That beats out Apex Legend and sits just behind Hogwarts Legacy. Square Enix has reported a 79% drop in operating profit, according to their Friday earnings call. The stock was down by as much as 15% in Tokyo today. According to some experts, that's not good. That is bad. That's not, you don't want that. Square Enix president Takashi Kiryu told analysts that Final Fantasy 16 did not meet their high-end expectations, which is a very different tune than what they told IGN in the interview two weeks ago, where they said sales of Final Fantasy 16 were extremely strong. Now in the earnings call, where they have to be more truthful and less liary, uh, they blame the low PS5 install base. This doesn't make sense. The PS5 is actually selling a bit faster than the PS4 did, so unless the unit sold projections were just wildly optimistic, Square should have known how many PS5s would be available on, on release of the game. And further, we learned in the ABK court shenanigans that Square took money from Sony to keep the game off Xbox and perhaps more damaging to keep it off PC. So what are they moaning about? Anyway, that's, that's it for today. Uh, I should go.